Hey everyone, it's Ashley, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing some new ColourPop products I got, including the Orange You Glad palette, as well as the Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow brushes. I will do swatches of this palette and the other two products that I got, and a tutorial, which you see right here. This is the look we're doing. And then I'll give you some final thoughts on all of these products. So let's get started. I'm going to start by swatching the top row. First we have Sested, then we have Squeeze Me, and then Creamsicle. Onto the second row, and I'm so sorry if you can hear my dog snoring in the background. It's totally fine, but if you hear that noise, that's what it is. So this next one is called Rising Grind. Then we have Clementine, which is the glitter shade. And then we have the shade Sunkissed. And the last shades we have are Tangerine Dreams. Mimosa Mammy and Yep Heal Me. Here are all the swatches. These do look really pretty. I would probably add another layer of a couple of these shades to make them a little bit more opaque. But they do swatch really nicely. And there are some really bright colors in there which will be fun to try. I like these two shades. I did just want to show you these again because I did add another layer to these two so that you could see the color difference a little bit better. Anyways, I'm going to swatch the other two products I have. Next, I have this Super Shock Shadow. This is the shade Golden Hour. Here's what it looks like. Super pretty. And then, of course, I will just swatch that. Very buttery and smooth. I'll add one more layer to that. This is the shade Golden Hour again, and I will have to use this in a video sometime soon as well. Super pretty. And the last product I have is this Just a Tint lip crayon that ColourPop has. These are really nice. This is the shade I'm wearing currently, but I will add a little swatch on my hand as well. If it will focus on there, there we go. So there is the Agogo ColourPop lip tint. Now let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so starting off the eye look, I already primed my eyelids with some Morphe eyeshadow primer and I'm going to take the JH30 brush and the shade Creamsicle and I'm going to put that in my crease. I think I am going to do a matte look because while I do like the shimmer shades, I just kind of feel like doing a matte eyeshadow look today. So that's what we're going to do. This shade is super pretty. It blends out really easily. Next, I'm taking the GH33 brush and the shade Rise and Grind. And I'm going to put this in the outer corner slash middle of the lid and crease. The lower portion of the crease. Next, I'm going to take that original brush with no additional product and just blend. Next, I'm taking the JH40 brush and the shade Yep Peel Me. I'm going to put that in the very outer corner and the lower crease to deepen up the look. I like this shade because it's like almost brown but it's still orange. It's the perfect shade to just kind of deepen everything up. Probably do another layer of that shade and then I'll be right back. Next I'm just going to blend a bit more.
Next I'm going to take the JH41 and a bit more of that shade Creamsicle and put this on the middle of the lid. Sometimes I end up using my finger to pack on the colors on the lid, but I wanted to try out the brush and just see what happened. This is working somewhat well. There's just a patch down here. It's not quite wanting to stick, but other than that, pretty good. I wiped off that other shade off of this brush and I'm going to use the same brush with the shade Zested. I'm going to try to put that on the inner corner. For this shade, I think I will grab my finger because I feel like it'll apply better this way. There is a bit of fallout with this shade, but that should be easy to clean up with a brush and just wipe that away. Next, I'm going to take the JH43 brush in the shade You Peel Me, and we're just going to put this on the lower lash line. For the inner corner, I'm going to use the JH42 brush and the shade Zested. So I didn't really like that matte shade as the inner corner highlight, so I just went into a different palette and used that instead. And I also reapplied the lid shades a little bit. I also don't think I would use that brush again for inner corner highlight. It's just a little bit too wide. But anyways, here's what we got now. And the last step, of course, is to apply mascara. Here is the finished look. Okay, so I'm just going to share a few of my final thoughts. I do really like the Orange You Glad palette. I have the blue and purple uh, monochromatic palettes as well, and these are just really nice. If there's a particular color that you would like to use more of in your eyeshadow, I would definitely recommend picking one of these up. This one is really nice. I haven't used all of these shades on my eyes yet, but I do like how this look turned out, and I'll definitely be filming another look or two with this palette. And then I also really like these, just the tint lips. These are some of my favorite lip products that I have. I have one other um, color of these, but I do really enjoy this. So that's definitely good as well. And I haven't tried the Super Shock on my eyes yet, but it did swatch very pretty, and I love the other Super Shocks that I have, so I'm sure I will enjoy this as well. For the brushes, let me just grab them real quick. I do like these. Um, I would have to say that this one is not my favorite, for inner corner at least, because it just didn't work for me. It was a little bit too like wide this way. So that one just wasn't my favorite, but these are very soft and nice, and I did really like all the brushes that I used, other than that one. So yeah, that'll be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel if you did. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!